Welcome back to the Sawdust Maker. Before I get started on this project, I just wanted to give you an update on my shop building. I finally, as of today, got my building permit. It took a while and a lot of paperwork, but I finally got it done. Next thing is, this coming Thursday, or at least next Thursday, I'm hoping to have my foundation uh, contractor coming in and put me in a foundation behind this fence. Then I'll get started on the rest. Well, that'll do it for the update. Now let's get on to the project. Today's project <coughs> is this bottle opener. Yeah, I know, you've seen quite a few bottle openers before. This one's a little different. A lot of the ones I've seen, you have to pull up on it. Well, this one, you got the leverage of pulling down and it holds the lid so you don't, it doesn't get thrown onto the floor. It's got a little magnet right here. So let's get started and I'll show you how I made it. I started out with a block of maple and mahogany glued up from another project. I'm drilling out a space for the washer. Yep, looks like a good fit. Now I'm marking a line that I'll use to guide me when I'm cutting the line through there with my radial arm saw. Now I'm marking out some other lines to shape out the body of the uh, bottle opener. Kind of looks like uh, I've had a little bit too much caffeine. Now for the ready arm soft cut. On to the table saw. Now to the band saw. Whoops, I can move the blade guard up just a little bit. And just round off the corners here. Looking pretty good. Dreaded chore standing. Now for the walking belt sander. I like that handmade uh, rider lift tool. Won't find that just anywhere.
running it over the edges. Although I found out later on, this just caused me a little bit more sanding than I wanted to do. Now for that really fun job, hand sanding. I wish I could really work that fast. Lots of hand sanding. Oh Lord, just about make you want to go to sleep watching all that. Alright, now get my big fat hand in the way. We're drilling out a hole for uh, some leather strapping to go on there so you can hang it up. Chamfering the edges of the hole with a bigger drill bit. That make it smooth. This may become apparent later on where I'm sanding this uh, big washer. It's to help go around the neck of uh, the bottles a little bit easier. Now to install the washer. second hole here will be for a screw to help uh, stabilize and keep that uh, washer in place. Nearly done. Here I'm drilling a hole for the magnet which will capture the uh, bottle caps as you pull them off. Mixing up a little bit of uh, Epoxy. Yeah, stuff ain't very good on your hands. You'd almost think I was at a little tea party or something, the way I'm handling that little stick. Ever so dainty. Funny thing about this magnet, before I had a chance to put a clamp on it to hold it in place, it was so strong it snapped up there to the washer. But I got it back in place and put a clamp on it. Here I'm putting on some uh, food safe finish. And there it is, ready to go.